Hi guys, Mike here. It's been a very long time, but finally I'm able to create videos again. So expect more videos to come regularly from now on and look forward to a new series which will be revealed soon. So let's start this off again by showing you guys a new Unreal Engine 5 C++ feature on how to declare pointers from now on by using the T object pointer type. This is only optional but recommended by Epic. So let's have a look at the UE5 documentation first, where it is hidden deep in the migration part of it to see what this is all about. So let's get started. So here in the UE5 documentation guide, under migration guide, you can find down here a subsection of C++ object pointer properties. And what they say is they introduce the object pointer as a template-based 64-bit pointer system as an optional replacement for raw object pointer types in editor builds. And they changed their underlying classes like a actor, for example. They say the what was once a UE scene component in UE4 is a T object pointer type now with scene component type in UE5. And what they say is Although it's optional, they recommend using the T-object pointer type instead of raw pointer types for properties and container classes like found in U classes and U structs. I will link the documentation for this, the link for the documentation in the description so you can have a look at it. What I didn't find out is what specific things they want to do for the editor builds, what features they will be if you're using T object pointer types. But for now, it is a real good habit of getting used to using these template based pointers compared to the raw object pointers that we are using in UE4. And when UE5 comes out, the final version, then maybe we know more about it, what this will be. So I will show you an example now how to do this by converting a class in the Endless Runner project that I converted over to UE5. So let's change over there and let's have a look at the A Actor class, the changes that Epic did for the UE5 framework. And then let's have a look at the runner classes especially the floor tile, for example, and convert that to the raw pointer system or show how to convert this. So let's head over there and let's go to a actor. And what you can see here is they are using the T object pointer system already in their underlined game framework, like the a actor and other classes as well. So they are declaring like an a pawn as t object pointer or the root component is a t object pointer and also using these as function parameters we will see how to do this so let's head over to the floor tile and what you can see here is we have a lot of arrow components we have a static mesh component so let's start by just doing the, the lanes we are not going to do everything. So converting the whole classes and this, I leave this to you as a practice to get used to the T object pointer type. Let's convert the lanes and, and change the spawn lane item function also to use the T object pointer type instead of the raw pointer. So let's first convert the arrow components or the lanes. Let's say T object pointer. And it's really simple. It's just a replacement for the raw object pointer type. And I'm a bit lazy, so I'm copy and pasting this. Okay, that's the center right and left lane. We are using the T object pointer and we are changing now the spawn lane item. So we are going to use this. Then head over to floor tile CPP and change it to here. And you can see the usage 
like we did in spawn items, passing the center left and right lane. And you can see there are no errors that with the T object pointer type, you use it like a normal raw pointer, like you access with the arrow operator the get component transform of the lane here, which is a T object pointer. So it's really like replacing the raw pointers with the T object pointer type. So this is actually what I wanted to show in this video. It's a new Unreal 5 feature and probably in the future we will read more about it, what specifically you can do, but for now it's not mandatory, but it's recommended by Epic to use this. So maybe go ahead if you did the runner example, the, the series, and just change this to the object pointer type when you import this or convert this to a UE5 project. If you're not sure of how to convert the runner project to UE5, then I can make a small video about it if you want, so leave that in the comments if you really want me to show how to convert the UE4 project to UE5. So this is no problem. So, so that's it for this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I tried to explain everything to the best of my ability, but if I didn't or things were unclear, feel free to ask and I will gladly answer any questions you might have. So I hope you really enjoyed this video and please leave a like and sub if you did. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.